You could say that I am a minimalist's nightmare. I like cozy, cute and messy, so that's kind of my thing going on. But I think it might be just a little bit too much. I can't seem to get my room clean. Or, correction, I can clean my room but I can't keep it clean. I wanna challenge myself to tidy up my room for at least one week and keep it clean. Because people say, clean space, clean mind. <sighs> my mind is messy. <laughs> my mind is always messy. I can only imagine how people will receive this video and hate on me for how my room looks. I'm gonna give you a small room tour and let you see how it looks at this exact moment. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Let's go. Stop hating right now. All you people saying that my room is a mess. I know. I get what you're saying. It's a lot. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna lay some ground rules for myself just to keep it clear what the goal is and what I need to do We're gonna start with cleaning out everything as in I'm gonna clean up my desk Organize it, reorganize my wardrobe, reorganize my refrigerator, reorganize my food stash. It's everything um, with stuff in it. Whilst I sweep my room, we're also gonna throw away everything on the ground that I don't need <laughs> Everything in my room has to have a spot. If it doesn't have a spot, it has to go. If it doesn't have a spot, it has to go. That's gonna be my mantra for this week. Oh my god, I'm gonna... It's gonna be hard for someone having so much stuff. I think I'm going to start with my desk. At my desk. And I'm gonna show you this is my desk. And let's be frank, I did my wash today, so... This was just drying. This is not normal. This, this normally isn't there. I was trying to clean up my room. I was kind of doing a good job. I mean, kind of. I thought this would be a great way to start. I'ma clean up my nail polish. Okay, I have quite a lot and I have some hair too. Figured this is a pretty good box to put my nail polish in. Cleaning up always makes me thirsty, like really thirsty. <laughs> My life is going great. It's totally going how I planned it would. Okay, I cleaned a bit of my desk. I have some things that I need to organize still, I know, but it's a start. It's a start. What I do need to uh, look through is the cupboards. Oh, what's the... These? I have a lot of things to do. Like I said, no things on the floor, right? Um, I have everything on the floor. It's gonna be awful. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's quite that bad. It's just bad. This can be counted as something where I can put, put away stuff, I think. Just, I mean, why? Yeah, I'm just... I'm a, a horrible person. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Of course, there's glass in there too. I got something once in my life and I kept the box because it was pretty. <laughs> That's how bad I... Yeah, another box I never need. More boxes I don't need but find cute. I... This movie was strange, but we love Audrey Hepburn. All right. 
right, so it's uh, 8.30 now and I'm tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, take a break for tonight. I just realized that I didn't even eat dinner because at the time that I should eat dinner, I started this video. So I think there's progress. I didn't film everything because I, I mean, I didn't. This is clean. That's also kind of clean. Reorganized. This, that, that. And this is everything I still need to figure out, but I'm tired. Did these two, more hats, more makeup stuff, and some electronics. It's, there's nothing there. Yeah. I'm kind of proud, I'm not gonna lie. Good morning, it's almost 11 o'clock and I'm gonna start with my food stash section. I'm gonna count the days once everything is clean. So this and yesterday will not be counted as one of the days. Let's just dive in and um, go. Gonna be fun, gonna put on some music as well and just, oh my god, fall down. Well, hello everyone. I thought while you watch me clean my room, I'd do some research on why having a cleaner room is good for you. Because, I mean, we're doing this for a reason. Not only just to look if I can succeed, but in what way will it improve my daily life? Research says, and I'm quoting this from psychologicallytoday.com. I mean, I don't know if this is a research thing. I don't know. Anyways, they say that a clean house leads to better health which makes sense because you clean out all the germs and everything grows in your house and that's better for you i mean that that's kind of logical also it states that with a better house you have better focus people that change their sheets frequently claim that they sleep better at night which i can say is true because when i sleep in my fresh sheets i feel like th just being cuddled by i mean it sounds sad but i just it feels so good and they actually claim that people with messy houses dirty houses are more likely to be depressed i mean i can tell you that that's true too <laughs> um so yeah yay we don't want to be depressed so if cleaning your house having a healthy house uh clean space is definitely helping then that's a big win that's a big yay <laughs> research okay i'm gonna quote this the researchers also found that women with cluttered homes expressed higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol so messy house more stress kind of makes sense too to conclude on why having a clean space is better for you we're less likely to be depressed sad and stressed we're more likely to be better rested physically healthy and emotionally healthy i mean that's a big list but okay let's go back to uh, lois in the video working her ass off and uh, being almost done yeah you go girl Okay, I just put some things in the washer, fabric of my couch, which I haven't washed since I've got the couch. So I thought might do that as well. Yeah, I think this is gonna stay kind of messy because I just have a lot of clothes and the system isn't great, but I just, I can't figure out a better system. So that's the damage. There's some damage there too, but we're doing okay. These are also ones I want to throw out. This is what I want to sell. Oh, oh my God. Oh 
Alright, good morning. It's day one. Day one with living with a clean house. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, there's one thing I didn't do yesterday. I have to do this and this, but I was so tired. <laughs> gonna do my couch and gonna fold the wash. o'clock three o'clock it's three it's three o'clock i've been crocheting and listening to ikigai <laughs> ikigai i want to give you a small status of how things are looking right now gotta find a spot where i want to leave my feedwear i want to draw so that's why i laid it here you can ch close that let's put this in the refrigerator gonna wash this too still have to do my wash my dishwash and clean that up too i think it's looking quite okay mm -mm. nice <laughs> I'm slacking, okay, gotta admit. I'm doing all right, but at this point I just wanna lay down and then I, I don't wanna do anything anymore. Yeah, gotta do one small thing, I guess, and then I'm allowed to sit down and do nothing. Only gotta do my place and I'm done, yeah. <laughs> What <laughs> schattig! Like a star, never had a love that makes me feel this way. What a wonderful together for 13 married for five because of course it wasn't legal to get married until five years ago <sighs> okay um on changing my life and doing things for the better i'm gonna go through my closet and throw away things that I really, really don't need. There will be some things that are in question and we'll, we'll see what I'll do with it. But I mean, I don't need 15 white t-shirts. And right now we're not going any places. So I don't need that much clothing. It's a lot. It's gonna, oh my God, fall onto my face. That's fine. <laughs> so I was kind of in denial, I think at the beginning of this video where I went through my whole room cleaning up things and I kind of left my uh, clothing untouched. <laughs> but I'm, we're here now, we're doing the work now. This is the going away pile. Oh my God, this. And I'm so proud because it's a lot. This is things I'm gonna try out, might sell them if they're good enough. This will be clothing I will still keep but have to reorganize. These are items that I do really like. This one is a maybe. These are also sweaters I do wear a lot. These were my handdoeken. I'm not, I'm, I'm brain farted, I don't know. Other towels, that's, <laughs> that's it. Towels. I have this, the biggest pile laying here on the ground. This is no and this is yes.
But I did do other things. I cleaned my closet and um, yesterday and the day before I did keep up with everything. So I did my sort of cleaning up the loose ends. And that's something I really have to practice more, just cleaning up loose ends every day and not let them pile up for too long. I mean, sometimes it's all right to leave some dishes for the day later or leave something on the ground or leave. But when you slack a little, it tends to just blow up in your face. So, <sighs> oh, but maybe I'll leave the, just the piles of clothing for what it is for, for a bit and deal with that tomorrow but maybe I, I should do I should finish up something because right now it's just sort of a shame to not do it because I need to do it as in that was my goal <laughs> okay I'm not gonna lie this has been quite difficult for me and I'm not sure why exactly just because cleaning up after myself is just not something that is in my system I guess and I'm t so lazy I'm so lazy but but I did have a few moments that I wanted to say okay I'm just gonna chill and I said no you're not you're gonna do this first and then you're gonna chill or do something else so slowly but slightly it's getting into my brain <laughs> But the automatism, the, the, the rules, it just has to settle a bit, I think. But we're getting there. So, it's day six. <laughs> it's day six. Which means it's almost the last day and my hair is just doing things. But I think I did quite okay, okay job. Um, I'm gonna work at my desk today, so I have to just move along some stuff so i'm gonna try and make something nice for dinner tonight so that's why that's there and this one i don't use right now i finished this drawing i've hanged it up i have to throw this one out yeah i'm quite proud it's not like everything is perfectly clean but it's way cleaner than it was before. And I kept it quite clean. Yeah, for my doing, I've kept it quite clean. <sighs> oh my God, it has been seven days of cleaning my room. And I must say it was, oh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, I really, it was difficult at some moments. Cleaning it up at the first few days was just nice and like, oh, fresh and mm, clean start. But after a while, I just had to really tell myself to, okay, Lois, you're gonna chill later. You're gonna, you're gonna do it now. Just do it now and then you can do whatever after that, but do it now. And those moments I didn't really catch on camera, but there were a few moments that I did push myself to do the dishwash. Um, I, I don't know, clean up some other stuff just before I went to bed. Um, and I actually managed to keep it clean. I, I can't say that I did. I didn't do great. I don't think I did great, but I did do it. And it was for my doing pretty well. I stopped with filming, of course. Um, but right now I'm cleaning things up out myself. Well, I'm noticing now that I just clean up after myself more automatically, which was the goal. Um, so that's great and I hope that I can keep it up for uh, in the future. Some other things that I noticed was just that just I felt more proud of my humbled space and it's nice to keep it just more fresh. I mean, I can't say that my sadness is just gone or that I'm suddenly not stressed anymore, but I can say that having it clean and having things from the floor and just keeping it clean, clean does give me a satisfaction. It did give me a good feeling about myself. Every day that I kept it clean, I was like, yeah, I kept it clean, nice, yeah, you go. So yeah, I think for one week of trying it out, already shows me that it's worth the effort. Just making it a more standard procedure is something that has to, had to sink into my brain. So I don't know, maybe you'll get it in one day and you'll be like, okay, we'll do this and do that and do that. But I don't know why, I just didn't really catch on that quickly. But 
we did, we managed, and we're gonna try and keep it clean. We're gonna try and keep it clean. So yeah, I feel, feel kind of proud, yeah. So I think I passed my own challenge, just not as greatly as I've hoped, but it's learning progress. Everything that I'm doing is just trying to reinvent myself, uh, try to teach myself things, manners, whatever. And some things that are programmed in your mind are just difficult to unlearn. So it's gonna take a bit more than seven days for me to unlearn being messy and learn to be more organized and more clean. And that's okay. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to do a thumbs up for me, uh, subscribe if you want. Um, I'm gonna do more challenges for myself and see how it has effect on me, my body, my mind, my space, whatever. So yeah, and that's also why I'm speaking in English and I'm Dutch. So I wanna, I wanna learn. That's kind of the goal of everything that I'm trying to do in videos, video making trying to learn more and educate myself. Okay, so um, yeah, thank you for watching and have a good day. Try to keep your room clean and see you later. <laughs>